2019 has been quite a year, so many things have happened. Notre Dame, climate fights, revolutions, impeachment. Augmented and virtual reality space has been very busy as well this year. One important hope did not fulfill itself though mass adoption of augmented reality. I will show you some of the loudest AR VR cases used for business objectives from 2019 and let's try to forecast what would be the biggest influencer for the future development of the industry this year. It's January 2020. Let's roll! Or how do you do that? <laughs> Let's puzzle out some of the most interesting moments of 2019 and try to foresee what should businesses expect from X-Reality in 2020. We are going to talk about most important events for ARVR in 2019, the greatest cases worldwide, award-winning cases that were based on the technology, social medias and their AR takeover, what are the biggest influencers on the vibrant ARVR future in 2020. Google Maps. You have to really be out of touch if you have missed out on this one. Guys at Google have released their beta testing of AR navigation, and it's big. Google Maps Live View uses augmented reality to display virtual sign points and directions in the real world. We tried to find any results on the web, but there are no statistics on the use for now. Hoping to hear more on this topic soon. Our vision-based approach works similar to how humans orient and navigate by recognizing familiar features and landmarks. It's a human-like approach to the human scale problem of navigating on foot. Now, this visual positioning system is the core piece that makes our augmented reality walking navigation experience so fast and accurate. AR Kit 3 and its mind-blowing new capabilities like space tracking using multiple users, human body recognition and occlusion that understands depth. This opens up a new avenue of creative concepts to play around with. Not only we can extend those planes on the ground when features are detected but the, the floor is actually going even further, but we can also, with, with the ability to detect, uh, we also have the ability to detect walls on the side where no feature points are present. And this is thanks to machine learning. So with AirKit 3 and people occlusion, you can now solve that problem. It can then, for example, be mapped to a virtual character in real time. Now, this could only be done with external setup and special equipment before. Now, with AirKit 3, it just takes a few lines of code and works right on your iPad or iPhone. And while this one may be a pretty wide avenue to creativity, the next one is a galaxy full of opportunities for XR. 5G launch. While it may not be that obvious news for the industry, we are already working on a couple of things within it, and it's a blast. Higher speed, no latency, better quality content. No, forget it. The next level of content. Such a wide topic sure deserves a separate video for us to try to explain even the basics of it. Let's just put it this way. It's a bombshell. Different countries already think that AR VR should be their strategic direction for future development. South Korea, for example, in 2020 have proclaimed that AR VR is to be implemented into various industries and to the governmentally encouraged projects. Horizon 2020 has shown a great deal of interest in the XR innovation, funding different initiatives and considering various projects to enter the program. This becomes a part of technology revolution in the European Union. How about some significant improvements in mixed reality? Newest HoloLens 2 is out. That with HoloLens 2, we more than doubled our field of view while maintaining 47 pixels per degree of sight on HoloLens, letting you experience what it feels like for the first time to actually touch a hologram. To top it off, HoloLens 2 now also understands precisely where you are looking, enabling us to do things like understanding your intent and adapting the holograms in real time to your eyes. Magic Leap and their progress on creating even more engaging experiences. 
other producers also try to keep up. For example, Lenovo A6 is already on the market. Latest advances bring us closer and closer to the big dream. AR glasses are the future. Rumor has it that Apple is planning to release their own pair of AR goggles in 2023. Let's wait and see. Of course, we have to talk about VR here too. These couple of things have formed the evolution of what the VR experiences are. Mobility. Some of the newest headsets give you full freedom either a wireless connection or the computer in a backpack. Real environment tracking. Sensors built in the goggles understand the environment and will warn you about the threat. No need for stationary tracking bases anymore. There is a possibility to show the video from a real camera, so you don't need to take it off in order to readjust yourself in the space. These cameras also unveil new ways for us to concept around VR experiences. Maybe VR doesn't have to be so isolating after all. Hand tracking. You can interact using your own hands. Yes, it's still in demos, but we're getting there. So overall, you can freely move, track the environment around you and see your hands. Quite an opener, isn't it? Off to the next category now. What more could I cover from 2019? I could name drop, for example. Jack Daniels. One of the most compelling cases in packaging this year. Informative and interactive. Simple, visual way to communicate. Porsche. Here you go, I was shown this really simple case by a number of people. The level of graphics and detail won hearts of the brand followers. How about CERN? Of course they did AR, and not just AR, but in a collaboration with Google. You can simply go back in time 13.8 billion years ago. Nothing major, right? Learn about the creation of the universe in a simple and engaging way. Make a fist. Open your hand. Just a billionth of a second has passed and it's blisteringly hot. Around 10 million billion degrees. The energy of the Big Bang has transformed into a thick soup of quarks, electrons, neutrinos and photons. I bet one of the most visually alluring cases of this year was missed out on. If you saw it, you'd remember it. SK Telecom summoned a dragon over a sports stadium this year. suggest someone should do the similar thing this year, but now allow the users to see it using the smartphones. How much time would it take to defeat a dragon if the stadium was fighting it collectively? I would so try that. Legoland, long regarded as one of the front runners in the battle for children's attention, Lego is also an innovator. Navigate in Legoland, play around with characters and search for hidden experiences. AR VR was born in gaming, that we know, but it all stays about gaming still, right? Try to tell that to NYPD. They are testing virtual reality training drills for real-life scenarios that would be impossible to recreate. Look, I can go on and on, but I'm afraid this is just as much as I can squeeze into a review video. Let's move on to the next topic. Do you know which AR VR cases were internationally recognized by prestigious marketing, creative and industry awards? Let's take a look at a couple. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to announce our first winner. Digital Craft Prize of Cannes Lions goes to... Closing retailer Carlings and their AR enabled Address the Future campaign. 
world's first digital clothing collection with 0% negative environmental impact. Our next nominee wins the golden drum in interactive tools and other digital solutions by harnessing the power of storytelling for the good. Of course, using AR. It allows parents to read real-time animated bedtime stories to their kids while they are away. Ursul zice. Ce fuci? The last but not least, please welcome the Fundamental Surgery, the winner of the VR Healthcare of the Year by VR Awards. They call themselves the Flight Simulator for Surgeons, and I understand why. Now we move to another unobvious AR representation. Drum roll! Social media, it's full of AR. Just name it, Snapchat, it's basically built on it. Have you seen their 4th of July campaign, for example? Facebook, Instagram, God, it's like the biggest one this year. The mere launch of Spark AR, the so-proclaimed no-coding platform for virtually anyone to be creating Instagram and Facebook effect. Since F8, last year, one billion unique people have used an experience that's powered by Spark AR. This isn't sessions or repeat users. This is one billion, more than one billion unique people have used these experiences. And every single one of these experiences was made in Spark AR Studio, a tool that you're all learning how to use or already know how to use. This instrument has become so important that such giants as Pepsi America was one of the first to launch a large-scale campaign, creating 200 effects for their Summer Graham campaign all throughout the US. By the way, proud we got to take part in this. Buy a bottle, open camera, QR code will send you to a designated filter, have fun. Result? Viral social exposure. So where does it take us? I would love to dream of a blooming and meaningful AR cases on every smartphone around the globe this year. Entertaining, educating, and simply augmenting our lives. Here are some of the things that may influence the development of the industry in 2020. And then we see where it takes us. Some of the biggest influencers will be multiplayer capabilities. The networks, devices and graphics are already there to bring some really cool future concepts for multiplayer engagement. Tracking. Not a precise one, no clothes fitting just yet, but creating an avatar of you or animating a simple humanoid according to how you move. Should be out there this year already, otherwise we're too slow, guys. Better VR hardware would lead to the creation of more immersive VR experiences, even though VR is still a lot in education and employees' training. I'm not really sure if it will switch to other industries this year already. Feel free to prove me wrong by the end of it. Eye tracking. Yes, it's been out there for a while, but we are quite sure this year we'll have more and more practical uses for it. Edge servers one of the newest advances in the cloud and computing. Being one of the partners in bringing ARVR to Edge for Intel, I could tell you this. It's going to be quite a game changer real soon. Just let those POCs start doing the trick. 5G, of course, there's so much to it, I won't even start. Let me just say this. 5G enables AR and VR. Simple as that. Smart cities will adopt more and more AR to them, from visualization, navigation to loyalty programs, tourism and entertainment. Having a need to become a complete system, smart cities would need to use new channels of communication and AR is one of those. Social VR is one of the hot topics within the community. Will Facebook Horizon or any other platform out there make us stay in VR headsets for longer? or even buy one this year? 
I personally doubt, but it's such a hype idea. Machine vision and AI. It's really difficult to say in which way it could enhance our current state of things, yet depth sensors that are now being built into the mobile devices give me big hopes for a serious advance on this matter. AR ads. In-app purchases using augmented reality built into such platforms as YouTube, Facebook and Instagram is going to be a big deal this year, given that each of the platforms already announced they are going to be live with it in 2020. But in the end of the day, it's up to us, my dear XR colleagues, to keep the standards up, to innovate with purpose and to show the real commercial benefit this technology can bring to businesses. So go create the next viral AR VR campaign. Enough looking at me. You too, my dear marketer.